All right, guys, some day three action. And by the way, I have like probably six hours so far into this. Um, I just obviously have regular stuff to do on a daily basis. So um, about six hours in so far. Um, Doug stepped by yes last night. Um, Fast lane Doug, if you guys don't know him. Um, he had a 3-8 that so was long enough for me to be able to get, a, get the tensioner uh, tension off so I can pull the belt off. So that means I can start on the mounting of the blower today as long as I can get this cut out as well. Um, he also helped me with the tightening of the cog belt on the blower. That's all on there now. Thanks to him, he uh, showed me how to tighten that up. And we uh, made some quick work of it. So now we can continue thanks to that. So that the goal by the end of the day is to have the belt um, not, not the belts. Well, yeah, I'd like to have the belt ran for sure. Uh, but I'm also going to go ahead and cut that out and mount the blower. Um, also, might run my PCV lines to get them tucked out, all, out of the way now. Um, what else can I do? Uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today, I think. Um, until the manifold arrives next week. Um, I mean, I could, I could mount the intercooler as well, so I'll probably do that at some point this week, whenever I get some time. So I'm only going to spend an hour or two today on this thing and then go from there. So let's get cracking. All right, guys. After much cutting and <laughs> and making a mess, um, we finally got the bracket on. Of course, there's some stuff I gotta still move out the way, but I'm having a small alignment issue where this and this is not matching. This is the idler that came off the block, and this is the boost pulley. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on with this. It seems to spin okay, um, but it's not. Uh, sorry, I might have been focus there, but this is not aligning correctly. Uh, from here to here. It's a slightly off, so I'll have to see exactly what did I miss. Another day. So it turns out I actually received a incorrect intercooler. And so are such great about their customer service that I got one within two days. So a simple mistake can happen to anybody. They corrected it. I believe everybody should reserve the chance to correct any simple mistake. And they did just that. It goes to show what kind of company they are. And I'm glad to be putting their kid on my car. So, um... Let's go ahead and pull the new intercooler. The only difference was is that the older one actually is in the car. Um, the other one, the uh, mounting tabs are in a different location. So let me go ahead and pull this out and get it on the car. All right, y'all, it got dark pretty quick. Um, lost track of time again. Oh man, uh, I have really poor lighting in here. But, let's take this light off. The intercooler is installed. I'm having a little bit of a fitment issue with the fender liner there. Um, that's small stuff though. We can fix that pretty easy. Headlights back on. I'm kind of just uh, cleaning up the engine bay a little bit. It looks like a mess right now, but I'm uh, slowly starting to clean up a little bit. Just getting ready for the manifold. So, almost there, guys. Almost freaking there. Um, shout out to Soho, man. This uh, intercooler is massive. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Um, I got to get better lighting. <laughs> You guys are probably going to roast me for this lighting in this video, but that's okay. Um, the important thing is that we're almost done. Um, I'll get ready to call it a night. I'm pretty tired already. Um, after work, I don't get much time to work on this, but hey, we're almost done. The only thing about the Stillen Supercharger kit, uh, it's never pretty. There's always wires and stuff everywhere. I could get the little engine cover thing, but I'm just going to leave mine the way it is. Um, so yeah, man, the clearance between everything is so tight. It's so so tight, so um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm starting to get excited now for real. Oh, almost there. Family, family, family. What's going on, guys? Fast forward like two, three days. I have not been in the garage for like two days, um, two, three days. 
Um, just been busy, man. I get in here for about an hour, then I have stuff to do. So overall, I got like 16 hours total working on this car. Um, but remember from the last video, you guys, where we left off, there was a pipe that I had the clearance down there. It's like a water pipe. Um, that has been clearance, so the belt can freely spin. I also need a new belt, which has an order, should arrive tomorrow, along with the manifold, which we've been waiting for. I placed the order of the manifold like four months ago. Um, it's just now getting here, so I'm excited as ever to get this going, get it started, get it finished. Um, I mean, there's barely any clearance. This kit is crazy. There's hardly any clearance to get anything done in here, so um, not going to be the cleanest, cleanest install. Um, you know, I just want to get the car going, make sure that nothing's leaking, everything's good, and I'll clean things up later. I definitely want to get that Soho coolant tank, um, not coolant tank, catch can, and uh, coolant reservoir. So that's going to be next on the list of mods as far as the engine bay. Probably gonna be the last thing I do. Pockets are empty at this point, but we got it done. So um, let's go ahead and finish tidying up. Right now, what I'm working on is uh, pretty much getting the PCB system again. I'm rerouting the filter back to this side. Um, I want less clutter in the engine bay as possible. Um, so I've been trying to reduce the amount of hoses that are on this side as well for when the manifold sits on top of here and all throttle bodies. There's very little clearance to get this through here. And I'm also worried that I'm gonna have to pull the intercooler off again because of this hose from the oil, um, oil cooler. So we'll see how we work around that. If not, um, we'll figure something out. I'm thinking of routing it. Um, actually, I don't know which way I want to route this. So. Kind of working on that still. I kind of want to bring it down here and then back up through here um, if I can do that, but I'm gonna take the lines up, of course. I think in the long run, that's probably what I'm gonna have to end up doing just for the simplicity of getting things installed correctly. But then again, if I can pull on this up a little bit while I install the coupler, um, shouldn't be a problem. And then I can push it back afterwards. So uh, slowly get in there, slowly get in there. Once I get the belt tomorrow, I was hoping to have it today. Um, but they didn't deliver it. So I was hoping to have the day to get the reservoir back on and the belt and everything on so Just about ready guys About my 24 hours until Startup so I got a flash the ECU the battery's been disconnected for about a week But I got a flash the ECU still make sure I got enough charge on the battery It's not dead or anything like that shouldn't be um, But I don't want the last thing I want is the ECU to the battery to die mid flash so I got to take care of that and uh, fingers crossed Hopefully no leaks anywhere, uh, we should be all set. So let's finish up here for the day and I'll update you guys uh, what I end up doing, where I end up stopping at for the day. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't, I don't wanna talk too much in this video. Just wanna get to the point where we start this thing up. So let's get cracking. Another day, another day guys. Uh, this should be the last time we have this thing um, in pieces. Here's the box we were waiting for. I had to get a different belt for the smaller pulley that's in there, some clamps. Uh, my mask. By the way, I gotta plug this merch in real quick. Let me focus on there. POV mask coming soon. Uh, put that back in there. And let me put the camera down and get this out of the box real quick for you guys. Alrighty, boys. Here's the elusive manifold we've been waiting on. Um, it already comes with no, no cooling core inside like the normal water air still kit comes in. We have a special piece to put on this thing that my boy Camillo in Florida uh, gave me. It's the uh, block off piece. For this i have a custom uh, enthusiast pov one for the channel um so that's ready to go i'm gonna get the throttle bodies and everything on that i'm tired of looking at this engine bay like this so she's ready to make noise and i'm i'm ready for it so let me go ahead and get some get this thing prepped up and then i'll turn the camera back on once i get all the pieces that need to go on there and uh boy it's starting to get real man i'm excited all righty guys and there it is gasket on uh, map sensor on throttle body's on and this thing is ready but most importantly oh yeah my boy cam killed it this is awesome all right so i took the throttle bodies off real quick to make this easier for me um <laughs> this is the hardest part of the install so that bolt i can easily ask access but there's two more which i don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up um let me take the camera the tripod here real quick now if you guys can see Hopefully, do my best. Back there, I don't my focus the camera's not gonna focus all the way. Yep, there it is. Um, that there's one back there and another one over there. I gotta reach underneath with this wrench, hopefully. And the other one that I have, I do have a. Where did I put it at? Oh, it's right here. I have a swivel one that I spent like 40 bucks on that I get under there. Hopefully, I can get it on. Uh, the bolts tighten. So 
<sighs> this is the hard part, but we'll get it done. Well, here we are next day. Um, I got pretty far last night, but still little bits and pieces to do. I'm so happy the belts are on already and ready to go. But uh, I still got to bleed the cooling system when I ever get this done. My biggest concern right now is this headlight. I got to take it off to clearance more uh, in this section to be able to fit this um, intake pipe through. So let's get that next uh, completed here on the list before we do anything else. And uh, whew, hopefully we can get it started here in the next hour or two. I already got the file from John. All right, y'all. So we're done. I'm done. I'm going to put cool in the system right now. And uh, hopefully that uh, all the cooling that I missed, it goes right back in. And when I start the car, I'm going to cut the heat on. These are supposed to have like a swirl pot. I've never been cooling on these cars before. So whatever happens, happens at this point. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. i got like 20 hours worth of work on this thing. And if someone's charging you 20 hours of labor to install one of these things, pay them. 100% pay them. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and flash the ECU. I got my, uh, John sent me a map last night. And I got my laptop right here. So... Go ahead and plug that in and flash this car. Alrighty guys. It's time to flash the car. Unit dead. Take a vehicle. Alrighty. Let's go find a file. Uh, thank you, Tech. Tunes. Where is the file? Alright guys, so I just turned the laptop on. Uh, I'm looking for my tune file right now to flash and just found it. Go ahead and prime the ECU. Here it goes. So, uh, ideally when this is all said and done, this should fire up. Um, flex fuel is enabled on this tune. Um, it should give me the ethanol content reading. If that's working correctly, uh, if I did everything correctly, then we should be good at that point. We'll be able to tune this car and flex. I can just throw whatever gas I want to throw in it. Um, yeah. All righty. Now we wait. Um, see what the system is doing. Ignition off. Um, I don't smell any fuel or nothing like that right now, so that's a good sign. Uh, injectors are all good to go. Hopefully everything starts up just fine. I am a little nervous, not going to hold you up. It's a little nervous. Uh, it's a lot, it's a big project from, I did a valve cover and all kinds of stuff on this thing, injectors. You need that. Ah, sorry guys, I'm complaining. Alrighty guys, we're just about done flashing the car now. Um, it's ready to start up really here in just a second. I'm waiting for uh, Doug, who's uh, going to help me bleed the car. Um, I got the concept of how to do it, but I, I'll feel better if I have some help with it, so we'll see how that goes. I think it's the last step of the flash process here. And we're done. So, let's go ahead and start it. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here. Uh, I'm going to say some thank yous and shout outs to people that just really deserve it. Um, this build and kit, everything went on because of quite a few people. Of course, first of all, we got Z1 Motorsports and the parts, the tuning, and all, just all the support that I received at work uh, has been nothing short of amazing. So thank you so much. Uh, Doug coming through, uh, helped me out with a tensioner and 
de definitely helped me out with the bleeding and overseeing the car for sale. Doug was here for it, so put his YouTube channel in the description, Fastlane Doug. Um, Soho Motorsports, you guys supplying the kit, the support, your employees are also great. Nick, George, thank you. Uh, Tim, your guy's really helpful. He hit me up even at midnight one day with technical support on how to do the bleeding process and um, how to do certain things and I just had no idea what I was getting into and you guys have been great since day one. So thank you so much for putting together such a great kit. I can't wait to see to make some power in the diner. So um, man, I, there's so many people to thank. Stillen, thank you so much. Even though the manifold is in back order for a long time, but <laughs> there's nothing you could have done about that, I guess. Uh, either way, I'm very thankful. Dean, appreciate you answering my texts and calls every time I call asking about the, an update. Um, there's just so, so many people that got involved. Overall, I just want to say thank you to everybody. I don't want to make this too long, but um, there's going to be another video coming up with proper shout outs and everything like that for everybody who was involved. And, you know, overall, I just want to say thank you. And Cam, you killed it with this thing, man. That's, 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 that's excellent, bro. I really appreciate that. Um, I really wanted one thing on this kid that was separate from everybody else's, and he assisted me with that. So um, I think I've showed it like three times in the course of these videos, and I'm really thankful for that. So besides that, guys, I'm going to turn this camera off, put this bumper on, and go for a drive. And uh, videos are coming soon. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. See you guys next time.